parking lot where they said all times parking lot. Nobody answered. I'm walking the door and it's supposed to be locked. I'm wandering around trying to find the bathroom and end up on the parking lot. This is the original building here. No question. I'm not old, but I mean, it's not exactly new. See, last time I was here, I came in the other house from here. Wow, I wonder how many of these the cars are staying up and how so many are guests. Can I get a pair of the That's fine. Yeah, we're going to be going in both buildings, so it's... That's not that bad. Norm didn't like the license plate. the first one. Gets amateur radio. It's uh, for no. solid state. No, right? this is amateur yeah, radio. Yeah, <laughs> yep, commercial solid state. See, amateur radio. radio. <laughs> I gotta find out what it was. Oh, it's warm. It's like a but but part 97 307 says the spread spectrum is only legal on 22 megahertz and above. Well, this guy's I want you all to have fun. There's lots to see here. And we have a great staff here at the ARL. They're all very dedicated to serving you as members. And great places and great programs to help a lot of people and volunteers in, in the hobby that support us as well. So thank you for coming. So, well, welcome. I'm going to show you around, so follow me. Okay, this, these cases are part of our handmade program. And, uh, of course, image radio is key to emergency communications. We may not be first responders like the fire department or the police, but we're there to come in and provide communications when it's needed and when it's deemed needed. Case in point, lately, of course, we all know about Haiti. Well, we sent a whole bunch of equipment down to Haiti. And the, we've gotten grants from FEMA to purchase this kind of equipment. Now, mind you, we have enough of this equipment that you could stack Pelican cases, two of these rows wide, about all the way up to here. And we had we had all the way from where you are, sir, all the way to this wall, stacked high with Pelican cases, all full of equipment. And a lot of that has gone away to people that need it for emergency communications. Because previously, when there's been emergencies, hams bring their equipment down there. And then, but after about a week or two, they have to get back to their work and their families and they have to bring their equipment home. This way the equipment stays down there until it's no longer needed and they ship it back to us. Mm. The handmade program. So we're very big into emergency communications. Of course we've organized a pool of all people that have been trained for MCOM, emergency communications. It's a course that you can take online through the ARL, emergency communications one and two. It's called MCOM? MCOM, yep. And you, mm. get, and you just can't, add, in, in this day and age, you just can't show up in an emergency with your ham license and say, hey, I'm here. You really have to be trained in emergency communications to be effective. And there's a whole tier of hierarchy involved that you work through the local section manager, the MCOM officer. So, but MCOS, we work with the Salvation Army. And besides all that, besides emer emergency communications, another part, big important branch is that we support all the volunteers. There's over 2,000 affiliated ARL clubs that we help out and support. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a lot of people. We also support uh, all those uh, section managers. They're all volunteers. And this are some of the great relics of the history of the ARRL. The Wolf Hong. The Wolf Hong, correct. Now, the uh, co-founder of the ARRLs, there are two co-founders. Who You know who one is, right? Percy somebody. Hiram, Hiram Percy Maxim. Maxim. Anybody know who the other co-founder is? Clarence Tusca. Clarence Tusk actually went on to build manufacture, manufacture uh, battery sets in the 1920s in Hartford. But the Wolf Hong, the ARL has been around since 1914. QST has been published since December 1915. Hams were kicked off the air during World War I. Okay? And after World War I ended, the military, specifically the Navy, wanted all the radio frequencies. They didn't want hams cluttering up the airwaves. 
And Hiram Percy Maxim himself had to twist a lot of arms. Now he was a prominent businessman in Hartford, so he could pull some strings. He went down to Washington, D.C., and he convinced Congress and the Senate that amateur radio is useful because you have a pool of trained radio operators who know most Morse code and radio apparatus. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Got it? You never sold it. Oh. Got that right? Got it. Got it. Okay, guys, I'll get it. Oh, oh, you have to do this manual then? Yes. Yeah, sure. Oh. Sure. It's who you operate. Oh, it's like the Xbox. Huh? It's, like it's who you operate. It's you don't do there, right? <laughs> what they charge me sure it fits. Yeah. Yeah. So one, ten times, okay? Just double side a little bit. Oh, yeah. 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 It might be all technology, but it is as simple and straightforward as you can get it. And antenna? Great. Exactly. Was that a single shot when you hit that? Uh, did the recorder come up? I hit it. It just said record. Yeah, that's fine. It's recording. So it's recording? They say you ran most of the and so there's no big there's no 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 there's uh, All of a sudden, the ears are up. <laughs> yeah. with this too, I can CQ, 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 hello, CQ. This is W1AW, Whiskey 1, Alpha Whiskey. Whiskey 1, Alpha Whiskey, calling CQ. Hello, CQ, CQ, from W1AW. Hawaii, Honduras. What time? Did, did you call CQ initially or just QR? I called, I, I called CQ at first. That was an empty spot, so that's why I picked it to begin with. That's cool. Oh, that's pretty neat. It's nice to be uh, wanted. QR said, QR said, this is frequency in use. Uh, of course, it's side panel and DSP. Put everything in all the options except for one Italy Zulu uh, Zero, Papa Sugar Alpha. Here's Whiskey One Alpha Whiskey. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, name here is Larry, David yeah, Alpha Romeo, Romeo Yankee. And we're visiting uh, AWR headquarters this afternoon, have an opportunity to uh, work on the station. Uh, very nice to, uh, to meet you this afternoon. Go ahead. Forget the fact that I had no experience, but I had a lot of heat cases. There was all the catalyzers. It's two. It's two. Italy, Zulu Zero, Papa, Sugar Alpha, Whiskey One, Alpha Whiskey. Uh, signals were way down in the mud that time. Just barely copied. Just barely copied. Some of that did not copy. It was a great deal.